What's up guys, Alec here, hope you're all having a great day. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Today I just want to uh, quickly and briefly go over a few of the review changes that I want to just uh, break down and explain, and some of the things that are being spoken about quite a bit now, uh, more especially in the recent uh, days and few months. Um, right now it is July of 2018, and there are tons of changes going on on Amazon regarding reviews and a few other things, but reviews are the main things, and Amazon's really cracking down on reviews, and they're adding in different limits and monitors for accounts. So Amazon is looking to just continue to tighten up their experience and the way that they run. So in order for them to do this, they have to really tighten up and really lock down on the methods that they kind of used to allow in the past. So unverified reviews and, and reviews that look suspicious, they're really, um, their, their algorithms are finding and detecting these types of things and really picking up on everything that you think uh, you can get away with. So I just want to quickly explain my take on this and help you guys out. That's why you're on this channel and that's why you clicked on this video to watch it um, because you're, you want to get reviews, but you also don't want to get your account shut down or get flagged by Amazon. So from my experience, I've had this happen to me where one of my products got um, some review limits placed on it and kind of waited out and get the, those limits removed. But here's my take on this and here's what I think you should be doing from my experience of selling on Amazon for the last six years. So back in the day when I started selling on Amazon in I would say 2010, um, it, it was just so wide open. Amazon really, they didn't have any good grasp on reviews. I mean, as of 2015, I think it was, uh, Amazon took away the incentivized reviews. So before that, what you could do is literally exchange uh, a free product or 99% product for a review. And you could just do that 50 times, bang, you can get 50 reviews right on your listing and it was completely fine. But Amazon took that away a few years ago um, and now you can't do that anymore. Now what people were doing was doing like PayPal refunds and they were getting into these um, Facebook groups. You probably know about them on Facebook and they, they're they called like discount deal review groups but everyone knows that you go on there and you give a product out to a customer and then you get them on PayPal, you refund them. So Amazon does know about these things and they are completely aware of everything that's going on. And they're actually working to get rid of all these shady black hat tactic methods when uh, getting reviews on, on products, they, they do not want any of this going on. Let's put it that way. And they are going to find and bust anybody trying to do this. If it's not today, it's going to be tomorrow or in a month from now. So what do I think about the, what, what do I think about the whole review situation and how do I think you guys should approach this right now in 2018 and going forward every year? I want you to build a business, obviously, on Amazon, and I want you to be here for years and years and create an actual sustainable business that you could have for yourself and um, and grow to amazing heights. I would completely advise, if you're in any of these Facebook groups, I would completely get out of them. That's my opinion. You can, you know, I'm not encouraging any of these things. Um... If, if you decide to do them, do them at your own risk because you're jeopardizing your account and, and you're selling rights on Amazon. So if they catch you or, or anything like that, you're, you have a, the chance of your account being suspended or uh, the privilege of not selling on Amazon. So use this or use these uh, shady black hat tactics at your own risk. Um, but I think right now, as of July 13th, 2018, and going forward, I think that the main way you guys should think about this is more long term. Do not think about getting reviews, selling on Amazon as like gaming the system as far as reviews. Amazon knows everything and you just want to play by their rules. If you play by their rules, they're going to be happy with you and reward you and you're going to be able to sell on Amazon for a very long time with no issues. So the main the main thing is don't get on their radar, don't get flagged by them and one way to definitely get flagged by them is is by having like suspicious activity on your account. And this even comes down to getting too many reviews. So if you have like an email sequence set up that 
um, is running really well. And this is a completely, in terms of service, way to get reviews. There's nothing wrong with email sequences. But if you happen to get too many reviews that um, Amazon deems as like kind of uh, shady and not matching up with the rest of the marketplace, they could actually flag your listing and check it out and see what's going on. You really don't want to get on their radar. So, I mean, even if you're doing everything right, they're still going to make sure that you're not kind of overdoing with re with reviews. So, I, I just want to sum it up. What do I think you guys should do? Uh, think long term. Get out of all these review groups because they're just, they're not good. And if you're building a business and you're putting all this work and effort into creating something actual real, just get out of them because they're, they're, they're going to hurt you in the long run. Um, don't do any of these like shady things. Um, PayPal reviews. Look, I'm, I'm not going to tell you what to do. Use that, all that stuff at your own risk, but I recommend you, you find more legit ways to do this. And, um, I'm going to actually make another video on my channel about how to use Facebook ads with, uh, messenger bots, one co that I use called ManyChat, and how you can actually get completely in terms of service, uh, verified reviews on Amazon, um, and get a whole bunch of them, but that that's all within their terms of service. You're not doing anything shady and you're not doing anything that Amazon deems as, uh, suspicious. So just understand this. Amazon does not like suspicious activity, uh, PayPal reviews, anything like this. One thing is, is don't think you're going to get over on Amazon or kind of trick them because their algorithms are way smarter than anybody or any human being checking things on a computer. They, that, their algorithm picks up everything. So if you're doing any PayPal reviews or anything like that, they know that the customers who are purchasing these things, they know their history of purchases. They know they could see all their uh, purchases and if they're all discounted from coupons that flags the system. Also, if you're getting too many reviews in a short period of time compared to competitors, um, they'll also flag that. So they put limits on your, uh, will put limits on your products if it's suspicious. So what, what do I think you should do? Like I said, stay within the confines and limits of what they deem to be okay. Go do, go at everything gradually and just don't go out of the lines. And I think you guys will be perfectly fine. So don't panic over these review changes. Just learn from them adjust and figure out new methods to selling on Amazon. At, in the end, we're all entrepreneurs and we're all um, doing business and we're, we all have to figure out how to uh, change and move with the current state of what Amazon is doing. We're just going to find new ways to uh, authentically and legitimately get reviews on our products. And like I said, there are a few other different types of ways, email sequences, um, Another way, like I said, Facebook ads and chatbots, basically building a brand like I always preach on my channel because a brand stay for the long run. If you're trying to game the system and make quick money by like slamming reviews on your on your listings and products, that, that's definitely going to get flagged. It's not going to be sustainable. So building brands is what I what I preach on this channel. And by doing that, you could create external marketing, Facebook ads all these other types of things to build a community and a few hundred thousand people lists like chatbot lists and messenger lists that you could authentically ask for reviews once they've purchased your product and you could cross sell and do all these legitimate things with these customers because they actually see you and they trust your company and they want to buy from you and you're not just selling to couponers. So that's where I think it's going in the future, and I think you guys should adjust now. And this video, I think, is extremely uh, helpful and valuable because not many people are speaking about the real deal on what's going on on Amazon. And like I always say, I'm being completely transparent with you guys, authentic. That's why I made this channel. I just want to give you all the good, all the bad, and help you guys adjust to it so you can continue to run your businesses for the long term and have no issues. And just continue to crush those goals, making thousands per month. That's completely what I want to do. And I want to help as many people as possible. So as far as uh, the reviews, just think of it legitimately, authentically. Get reviews as best as possible. Get out of those re review groups. They're going to catch you guys. Or eventually they will. It's just not really a long-term play. If you guys want to stick on Amazon for, for the long haul, you know you don't want to be on Amazon's radar. Just play 
play good with them and do what they want, and you guys will be perfectly fine. Build a brand and use other methods to uh, get those reviews organically and follow-up sequences like and stuff like that that I speak about. I will make another video soon about, about how to get five-star verified uh, reviews completely within terms of service. If you want me to make that video, comment below five-star reviews. And once I get 50 comments, I'll make that video for you guys and release that on the channel. So look out for that. So just comment five-star reviews below. And once I get the 50 comments, I'll release that video. So stick around for that one. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that. And I have a ton of other videos on my channel on how to do product research, find amazing products to sell that make you thousands of dollars per month, um, shipping, how to how to do everything. It's all on the channel, and I give it away for, for completely free. So if you're new to Amazon FBA, subscribe to the channel. If you have been selling on, on Amazon FBA, I'm sure you can find tons of amazing stuff on my channel. Um, I'm speaking from experience and truth. So... That's what I want to convey to you guys, and hopefully you did find this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys in the next video.